Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. The Minnesota Vikings made another move in free agency by bringing in safety Xavier Woods, formerly of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Xavier Woods is a four-year veteran, a sixth-round draft pick, but managed to play in 62 games for the Dallas Cowboys, reeling in over 255 tackles and five career interceptions. Now, this very versatile safety is going to come in and play next to Harrison Smith with the departure of Anthony Harris. Let's take a look at the film and see what this young man brings to the table, and we'll do it film room style. All right, the first thing that you have to think about with any safety in the NFL is their ability to do a number of different things. And that's not just playing pass defense if you're a deep third, deep half type player. They also have to play the underneath zones just like linebackers do. They have to know where they fit in the running game. And oh, by the way, they have to be able to cover man to man and they also have to blitz. And one of the great things you'll see here is the discipline and, and, and the intelligence of uh, Xavier Woods. The quarterback, when he gets to the top of his drop, if you pause it, he's looking to his left. And you'll notice Woods just stays right on that hash mark. He's not really biting. He's not making a decision. And Woods does a great job here, keeping his eye on the prize, going up, adjusting to the football, getting it at its highest spot, and then making a nice return. So a great interception there by Woods. Okay, against Atlanta, this is another example of, of zone coverage. In the beginning of the play, you're going to see really a too deep style of look over the top. Woods is the top safety, and you'll see in the slot Julio Jones, right? So when Julio Jones is in the slot, it's got to raise a red flag, knowing that that's the guy that they want to get in the middle of the field, and that's the guy they want to throw to. Now, when Matt Ryan gets to the top of his drop, he's looking right down the middle of the field. He knows where he wants to go. As soon as Woods gets back behind that linebacker, he wants to hit him right there. Woods is right there to make the play. Ryan feels the pressure. He has to step up and scramble. Then Woods covers him all the way to the back of the end zone. So that's a great play for a safety who's playing kind of a single high, has a great wide receiver running right up the middle, right towards him, and he's got to play one side or the other. All right, next play against the Philadelphia Eagles. Again, kind of a two deep type safety look, but this is actually a three deep zone where Woods is going to be lurking kind of in the middle of the field. And if you watch what he does with Carson Wentz, he anticipates and knows what Wentz wants to do with the football. So he kind of just shuffles, tennis bounces, but as soon as he sees Wentz look at that curl route, he goes like a shot out of a cannon, runs in front, intercepts that football, and then does a nice little return at the end of it. Fourth quarter of this football game against the Eagles. Cowboys are excited, they're fired up. So he does a great job in zone. He's very, very smart. When you let him lurk and kind of let him work the middle of the field, he does a wonderful job reading the quarterback and breaking on the football. All right, on the next play, you'll see three redskin receivers at the top, and Woods is kind of that safety over the top. And as a safety, by definition, you're really the last line of defense. So you're going to see this man-to-man -man type route work underneath, and then Woods is up on top. The ball's thrown to the flat. But he takes a nice direct route, uses the sideline as that 12th man on defense and pushes that running back out of bounds. So a great angle of attack. That's something that, you know, safeties need to have. They need to be able to take good angles of the football and good angles, you know, to, to you know, passes that are up in the air and good angles to receivers as well. On this next play, playing a little bit of man-to-man, -man, getting everybody lined up. You'll see Woods lined up at the top of the screen, kind of like a corner one-on-one -on -one against the tight end. Just does a nice back pedal, stays square, gets in there. He's physical enough and fast enough to play against tight ends. And the Dallas Cowboys use him that way quite a bit. He's a man-to-man -man defender against tight ends all over the field. Next play against Atlanta. This shows you how he's, he's a very, very disciplined zone defender as well. And as you see, Matt Ryan is going to give that hand up. The fullback is kind of bending his way. Now, Woods does a wonderful job of staying square. His shoulders stay square to the line of scrimmage, plants his foot, and when this ball is thrown, he's in great position, rallies up, makes the tackle, and the best part is no yards after contact. So, great tackle by a safety on a running back in space. Again, you see Woods down in the box. He sees the double team up front on the tackle and tight end double team on the defensive end. And once he recognizes that, he gets downhill and he gets that right shoulder down, rips around that tight end, and is able to get upfield and make a tackle for zero gain. So does a wonderful job, again, diagnosing and reading, staying square, can get downhill, make plays, and is a pretty solid tackler at the point of contact. 
All right, against Atlanta, this is kind of a four minute situation where Atlanta's just trying to run out the clock and you'll see Woods at the bottom. But as soon as he sees that tight end fan out, the tackle blocked down, knows this is a running play. This looks like a blitz, but it really isn't. He's just reading what's happening in front of him, getting in the backfield and making that tackle for loss. So that's just smart. Again, he knows the situation. He knows Atlanta wants to run the football. He sees what's happening in front of him and he gets after it, gets in the backfield and makes a tackle for loss. So those are all great things out of a safety that you need to be multidimensional. You put him next to a Harrison Smith, another guy who I think is the most versatile safety in the NFL. Now you have two guys that can blitz, that can play the run, that can play deep. Very, very versatile duo in the backfield at safety for the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs>